You want to see something cool? What are those, you might ask? DeWalt battery holders. I got 20 in all. I talked to some students at the local university, St. Mary's University, and they have this awesome maker space there with 3D printers and a really nice uh, group of students uh, who are learning how to run a business based on 3D printing and a maker space. So uh, awesome stuff there. Um, so I had them put together 20 of these uh, because I lose my batteries all, all the time. You know, I've got probably about 20 DeWalt batteries and, you know, I put them on shelves. I try my best to put them away, you know, things like that. Like there's a, I mean, there's one now, there's a Metabol one. Um, so I just decided, why don't I get them, you know, to make these things? And so let's take a look here and see how it goes. So these are the batteries. Just take one off because you know the the DeWalt you know clicks right in place there. You can hear the click. Just keep going. There's another one. There's another one. All different sizes of battery. The two hour, four hour, um, you know, three hour here. Um, and I got the problem I have now is. I don't know where all my batteries are because I've been really sloppy with storing my batteries around my shop. So now I got to go and find them all to be able to enjoy these really cool things. And I'm really excited. I wanted these to be red, so I asked them for red because, as you can see in my workbench, uh, Star Wars themed workbench, eventually all of the walls, all the stuff is going to be Star Wars themed back and in here. I mean, you can see the Imperial logo there. So um, I wanted to get ahead on that. And part of me is like, oh, maybe I can put them down here, you know, uh, put a couple here. But, you know, I have other plans. And the students did such a great job at this that um, I might have them do some more stuff along the way here. So I want to make sure um, I, I'm strategic about the real estate in the shop here. So uh, this is really cool. It's really exciting for me to see this. So uh, thanks for watching.